Hi, it's Sonia here and I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be, um, and I've even written down notes for myself, uh, the three ways that I feel I make so much art at the moment and how um, I've come to do this. And it was sort of like, uh, this piece was triggered by a reel I did this morning um, because I've been reading a book. I think it's, was it uh, Your Brain on Art? Um, that's making me reflective of like, I guess the why and uh, realizing, you know, I think it's, it is really important for my well-being. I think it helps other people's well-being too. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do, talk about that. And then I thought I would, while I'm doing it, it can be a draw with me and hopefully a relatively quick one. I want to finish off. I started this actually early this morning. Um, and this is my like another, Gosh, loose abstract sketchbook. Not loose abstract sketchbook, loose floor, like still life floral sketchbook. Um, but yeah, I want to complete this one. So I thought that could be a paint along with me, draw with me, and I will try and share my thoughts on these three ways that I'm getting a lot of art in. Maybe you could share yours in the comments if um, hopefully it, you're getting more time or getting more confident about spending more time on the things that bring you joy. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Hi. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to carry on with this um, sketchbook piece. Uh, I started off and it's um, Artesia. So sort of, these are reasonably priced squash paints that you can get in tubes. Um, and yeah, so I just, I've just squirted out <laughs> some on my palette and um, I've deliberately left off white because I want to try and keep the colours bright. But I've got black so I can darken them. And I don't know where I'm going to go with this. This will be fun. It's kind of, this is a vase or vase I saw in a secondhand shop and I did take a picture of the shape and I just drew it really quickly. I don't know whether this is going to be a pomegranate or an apple and uh, this plant is one that I've got in front of me but I've just, I always draw it but I've completely uh, drawn it quite loosely and just sort of making up colours and having fun with colour and shape. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go on with that. So please do paint along with me. And then I thought today I'd try and I wanted to talk about um, something that I made a... I mentioned in a reel. I think it's been triggered because I'm reading this book, uh, Your Brain... I've only just started it, really. But um, Your Brain on Art and How the Arts Transform Us. And it was just making me think about, like, my why and it just i guess i've resonated already with some of the uh the information at the beginning chapters oh no i've just added the green to the pink and it's oh is it gonna make it hmm it made me because i want to i wanted to keep that bright i'm gonna have to wash it off it made me think about um yeah like it how how i found it in my own way uh, good for my sense of well-being and anxiety levels and just reducing stress and I, I think already like it was mentioning studies which showed that um, people who did I can't remember it's, one of them was 40 did 45 minutes of art or 20 minutes of art I'll have to make notes from the book uh, their cortisol levels were shown to be reduced but there was actually shown to be you know physical markers of the impact of art on our stress levels and um, well-being. So yeah, I was just, I mean, I was thinking about for me how with the holidays coming up as well, and this might be for you guys too, um, I was just kind of thinking out loud, how do I keep myself motivated and um, how do, and then also reflecting because Sometimes I actually, I do make some, I have periods where I make a lot of art. Uh, maybe the fact that I've been doing, been able to do quite a lot of nearly daily YouTube videos shows that. Um, and I've had fallow periods, periods where I can't make any art. Um, but I would say I'm actually, when I am making art, maybe because I've had so many years off, I am fairly prolific. And in fact, I've hidden it. I think sometimes when people actually hide, like I'll just... Um, pretend that I 
I, I won't talk about it so much. I don't show, to be honest with you, there was a phase on Instagram where I wasn't definitely not showing everything because it felt, I don't know, I felt like, oh, am I going to look like crazy that all I do is um, art? But, and I know I make my styles change and I make very quick, fast, spontaneous pieces. Um, so yeah, I was almost, uh, there have been periods where I've just kept it a secret and it's my thing. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to tell pe people about how much I was making. But I actually think a lot of us struggle to even carve out time for it. Um, so I'm always willing to share um, and I wanted to share how have I now got to a place where I'm much more confident in saying, here I am, I think I'm an artist, that's that. And um, how do I, how do I, when I have my prolific periods, how does that, how do I facilitate that? So one of the things, so yeah, I might have to like, I hope you're all drawing because I might have to look at my notes. Um, one of the things is that, and I think I've talked about this before, but I now, when it comes to art, and I think I'm, I'm pretty uh, dedicated to drawing and painting, to 2D, visual, um, hand painting, like I'm not really into digital work at all, like at all at the moment. Um, it's all original and hand painted or hand drawn. I do what I want to do within that remit. I now, if I follow my interests um, and my interests are not necessarily, it has nothing to do with what, well, in some ways maybe I lie a bit. I don't think it has to do a lot to do with what is popular necessarily at the time, but I have to put a caveat in here because I, even if I think I'm not taking inspiration, I am obviously at times looking online. So maybe some of the sort of culture and popular artists, yeah, obviously I'm absorbing visual information from around me, but I tend to, but the point is I am going on a pathway where I want to go. Because I've got to be honest, when I was, there was years ago when I first went on Instagram and I was very consistent and doing, gouache sketch, gouache sketches. I've changed a lot. I don't, in some ways it's a bit scary sometimes to change um, subjects or genres because, you know, you could, sometimes you get a lot of, especially if you're getting a lot of validation or even um, side hustle projects out of a particular way of that you've been drawing and painting and people want more of it. Um, it can sometimes feel a bit, uh, strange to open up about a change in direction but I do that now because that's what um will make me make more art if I do what I'm interested in I can be super like I, it's hard to stop drawing and painting because I'm just you know like I'll do this now and then maybe later I'm gonna do an abstract maybe I'm gonna draw a person like I'm going where I want to go and that keeps me so motivated um it's actually hard to like step away from my art practice uh, but yeah, everything in moderation though. And then the second point, um, yes, yeah, so I think also to say about that, that's like, I guess, important, like intrinsic motivation. That's going on what I'm motivated by. I'm not also trying to be influenced by what other people think, as it were. And then my second point is I take breaks um, from art. And some of these breaks are... I'm going to go on to these bars. Some of the breaks are, um, are, are not necessarily my choosing. I don't want to stop making art, but I, I think all of us get life happens. We can't, some, some things in our lives, there are big changes, responsibilities and moves. And we may just, there's no time or space. I totally get I feel like I see a lot of online people really struggle. I, these are hard times, like there's a lot going on. Um, I know we're all probably constantly trying to console ourselves. It could, you know, it, was a, it could be obviously a lot worse, but people have constraints. And um, so I think actually look upon it. Sometimes it's hard when you're like, oh, I can't make art now because I've got to do this. But actually having a break, um, uh, can then help you to refresh you for when you can come back and make when the time comes and you can get back to it interestingly mixing this this 
blue with this black is giving me sort of like a really grey sort of air force -y blue but I quite like that this is one of my sort of weirdly one of my favourite colours it's really good for backgrounds behind portraits I find so yeah and then the other thing is sometimes it isn't necessarily that you've got to stop art because someone's sick or you've got caring responsibilities sometimes you might actually have had a creative as it were like almost like a manic creative period and you've made loads of art because you've just had a lot of time the kids don't want you <laughs> nobody wants you you're isolated and you made a lot of art but sometimes um i always think yeah everything in moderation sometimes you can't be i don't think anybody can be doing anything 24 7 it's just you know even marathon people training from like i'm a runner people who train for runs you need to have a recovery day you need to have time off so then I like to, I do like to take time out and I will like, sometimes I just don't feel in the mood. I might just want to, um, for example, read or cook, which for those of other sort of cooking is sort of a bit creative for me. Um, go out, you know, walks, just other thing, other activities. And then that, then I feel um, refreshed and energized. And it's almost like, especially if I've had to take a long break, I can't wait to get going again. And when I get going, it's like, oh my gosh, that's, I've just painted the green. Um, oh my gosh, like, this is amazing. You d I don't take it for, I don't take now the the freedom that I have um, to make art, I don't take it for granted. So that's, I think, another reason that when I do get the time, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna have fun. Um, and then the third reason I think I am able to uh, make a lot of art now is that I know it's good for me. I, I know that it's not a bad thing. Um, as again, reading this book, uh, I know that it's, yeah, there's, it, it, there's even <laughs> scientific evidence that we get benefit from, uh, um, from, uh, from the arts whatever and again there seems to be an art for everybody um which is wonderful and yeah it really does play a role in sort of our mental i think our mental well-being and ability you know, to be resilient and um deal with stressful times and i think it's funny isn't it because i'm sure as artists like we all kind of know that i also think it's a benefit for my loved ones because I feel like it also makes me uh, a nicer, if I've got a good art practice, it makes me a nicer person. I think I'm a, you know, I'm not kind of as grumpy a mum because I know I've had time for myself and I've created something for myself. Um, and I don't, I feel like I'm much more open and less cynical and judgy if, if I've been allowed, yeah, if I've been having my own space to do, you know, to, to make art for myself. I wonder if that's a bit of a... So I'm sort of going into the details here. I'm trying to add, play around with the... Like, I want to keep some more pattern on this. This was actually in the uh, in the um, shop, a plain, just a blue ceramic vase, but it's now my vase, so I can do what I want to it. And I feel like some dots. Yeah, I quite like that. Um, so yes, so I think knowing that it's good for me means that I prioritise it a bit, you know, like we should with exercise and other things that are, are good for us. Um, I am more likely now to, to take time out and to like not over clean, over tidy, because I know that actually having um, 20 minutes, 40 minutes for art is going to be really beneficial and energise me for these other tasks. Okay, what was the other thing I wanted to talk about? Oh yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm having to actually edit this bit because I realised, and I've sped it up a bit, because I went off on a tangent and I just waffled. And um, I think it was a bit in response to some of uh, my sort of caption that I wrote under the Instagram reel. Because um, I was obviously a bit sensitive about like some 
judgments and just thinking about what people have said in the past was weighing on my mind but yeah it's I don't feel like it's terribly relevant here I want this to be for once um I'm going to hopefully sum up my three takeaway points at the end a fairly um uh consistent video and um yeah I'm also wanted to share the, uh my ideas quickly here because I just had it when I was um re-watching this back I suddenly realized that this sketchbook is a sort of a mixed media quality. Um, the paper's really thick, so I could experiment at painting like loose watercolours initially on these pages um, because the paper is really good quality. It's really weird watching my hands go backwards and forwards so quickly. Um, and then I can, um, I can then, if I don't like the piece, I could paint over it. So um, with gouache or with acrylic brush, um, we will see. Yeah, this is um this one's a very loose sketchbook too, and um, I just I quite like that idea of having a go with watercolor because I really struggle sometimes with watercolors to um, be as loose as I want to, or I get off, I just gravitate back to gouache and acrylic gouache. Okay, so yeah, to I've got a couple more minutes. Um, so this one is sort of a finished ish. I'm not sure if this is finished for me. Uh, uh, but I get it to a point where I was going to, I wanted to stop for today. Um, but just to sum up, yeah, how I think one of the, I think a lot of it's mental why I can be fairly prolific at this point. Also, I've got to be honest with you, it's probably the season of life I'm in. My, uh, I'm able to do it. I know a lot of people can't. I appreciate that. But a lot of the things that have held me back from making art in the past have been, to be honest with you, my like mental attitude or being... Uh, taking other people's judgments and I then I think becoming very s self critical and judging myself really harshly to the point where I'd be like your art isn't worth any you know what is it why are you spending your time on this you there's better things you to be, I could be doing with your time you can see where I can go mentally um so the things that are helping me make as much art as I make and I know people have said oh you seem very prolific um is as I said to begin with one, now being at a stage of life where I just don't care as much, I do the art I want to do. Um, and I guess that's a bit of maybe mental work we all have to like go through sometimes to allow ourselves to, you know, embrace, embrace the passions that we have in life. Two, um, yeah, taking breaks. I think actually with anything, you need your like recovery days. You need to go and go out. Was it the artist date, Julia Cameron? Go and get your inspiration so that you can come back to it refreshed three knowing I think it's such an important point knowing that it's good for me in turn helps me put it I actually here's another tip put it in your diary put in your diary when you put all your to-do list and your kids activities block in some art making that for me also helped change my relationship with art instead of always putting it down being really negative about it Okay, this video is going to end very shortly and I always get really caught out. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for people who've been signing up to my Patreon. Um, yeah, thanks for subscribing and liking my videos. I do appreciate it. I hope there's something helpful in here.